Well, you know, it is tax season and our next guest, Tony King of King King and Associates is here. Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good. morning. It is tax season. Yes, it is. Good yeah. to have you. So a couple of things you wanted to uh, point out before we get to tax questions. Sure. Just want to let everybody know, if, if you're not aware, that the legislation that passed uh, back in December, it's effective for calendar year 18. So it's not going to affect your 2017 tax returns, the ones that are due uh, of April of this year. All right. right, and also you say file sooner rather than later. Yes, the IRS e-file system just opened up last Monday, and the IRS is encouraging to get your tax return, get your 2017 returns filed as soon as possible. A couple of things: one, it cuts down on the possibility of someone stealing your Social Security yeah, number. Fraud. You know, the first one that files is the only is the only return that the Social Security number can, can show up on. All right, well, let's get to our first question uh, we have here. Someone says, I want to know about the rules to winning because I won $5,000 this year. I've heard that you can claim losses having paid, uh, played every day. What dollar amount can I use against the 5000 on my tax return? That's a good question. Gambling losses are deductible to the extent of gambling winnings. So if you have $5,000 in winnings and you can show that you've spent at least $5,000 in losses, then you can offset those. But keep in mind also, those gambling losses are part of the itemized deductions, Schedule A. So unless you use Schedule A itemized deductions, you can't offset your gambling losses. Okay, interesting question. All right, we've got another one here. Someone wants to know, why are 401ks taxed twice if withdrawn early? Well, they actually aren't taxed twice, uh, Theo. What happens when you put money into your 401k, it's on a pre-tax basis. Mm -hmm. So over the 20, 30 years you contribute, you have never paid tax on those contributions. So when you pull it out, that's when it becomes taxable. I think what the, ta what the taxpayer may be also referring to is the 10% early withdrawal penalty. So the IRS says if you take money out of a qualified retirement plan before age 59 and a half, then there is a 10% penalty on top of the income tax. Mm -hmm. All right, so what happens if you don't file your taxes? My husband hasn't filed in over 10 years. Wow. We've been married for two years and I'd wow. like to get this straightened out. Won't his fines become my fines? First of all, she should have uh, found that out before they got married. Before they got married. <laughs> but, um, if you file a joint return with your spouse, then yes, any IRS assessments will be, filed, will be uh, assessed against you and the spouse. Mm -hmm. If you file separate returns, then only the husband is responsible for his liabilities. Now, 10 years, I'm really surprised the IRS has not prepared a tax return on his behalf. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, well, if we did not get to your questions this morning, of course, we're gonna try and answer them next week. So keep those questions coming in. You can email tax questions directly to taxquestions at WBALTV.com or go to our website, WBALTV.com and click on Consumer Alert. Thanks for